Ivan Bennett there in London. Well, for more on this, I'm now joined by Ivan Eland. He's an expert on political economics from the think tank, the Independent Institute, joining me live in Washington, D.C. So Iran is being slapped with new sanctions, but who will these sanctions actually punish? Well, sanctions are a blunt tool, and they try to make them... Uh razor sharp, but they never are, and this will probably hurt the Iranian people. And when you, when you bomb a country, it unifies the population uh, with the government, even if they don't like the government. But in this case, we're not to bombing yet, but we're attacking them economically. It has a similar effect. It rallies around the flag, and I think it actually helps the regime because uh, a lot of the people in Iran, especially the young people, really don't like the, uh, the, the regime. And any time you either take economic use economic warfare or actual warfare, you're going to get a rally around the flag effect. So I, and, and sanctions, um, I did my PhD uh, dissertation on economic sanctions, and they're good for small, persuading nations to do small things. But overthrowing governments or getting them to stop nuclear weapons when they live in a dangerous neighborhood, it's just not going to work. I mean, if you, if you put them sell, yourself in their shoes, they see Israel, they see Turkey, they see uh, the Arab countries that don't really like them, uh, and they, Israel has nuclear weapons, and other countries are working secretively to get nuclear weapons, presumably. So Iran uh, feels uh, threatened, and when they feel threatened, all the sanctions in the world are not really going to help, and in fact, I think it'll probably push uh, the, the, the population to uh, support a regime that they wouldn't normally support. There is, of course, an opposing thought, isn't there? There you are saying military threats and sanctions could rally support for the regime, but indeed, uh, the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister said recently that uh, events that we're seeing, the pressure against Iran at the moment, is perhaps an attempt to bring about regime change. And surely that is exactly what the West really wants, isn't it? Yes, I think that's true, but it's not going to work. I mean, sanctions ra uh, rarely do. Even in the case of South Africa, where regime change occurred and sanctions were placed on, people associated the two. But in reality, most revolutions happen internally, not from external sources. We're seeing this in Egypt and uh, Tunisia and uh, Libya and a lot of other Arab countries, Syria. Uh, the U.S. didn't start those uh, revolts uh, with sanctions or anything else. Uh, it, and, and it's not going to do so in Iran either. Uh, the sanctions, if anything, will have the opposite effect. The U.S. and, uh, of course, European countries are very concerned that uh, Iran is building a nuclear weapon. Otherwise, I suppose it wouldn't be considering the anti-missile defense system, although many political reasons behind that too. Is the threat really real? Do you think Iran is developing a nuclear weapon? Well, I think they probably are, but I, we have to be careful after the... Uh, false intelligence on the Iraq thing, and I think the U.S. Has, has, uh, is taking a back seat to the IAEA because of that in this case. But uh, assuming that they are, even that st threat is overstated. They'll have a few warheads. Israel already has 200 to 400 warheads. They, they have a medium-range missile to, if they get a warhead, to put on it. That doesn't harm the United States. It might harm Israel or some other closer countries. But I think the United States should start worrying about more about itself rather than about uh, other countries in that region. A uh, medium-range missile will not hit the United States. And the United States, of course, is spearheading uh, this uh, sanctions drive when closer countries like Russia and other countries are a bit more reluctant to impose sanctions. So I think uh, the United States is exaggerating the threat uh, and probably shouldn't do that and probably should uh, let other countries lead in the sanctions effort or uh, probably not sanctions effort but in the efforts to persuade uh, Iran not to have nuclear weapons or to get nuclear weapons. Ivan Eland, live in Washington. Thank you very much indeed.